This is a very short and formal video of uh, kind of the back and forth I went through by choosing a shop vacuum. I actually finally pulled the trigger on the Fez tool. That's a CT36 and uh, it arrived yesterday. But uh, I went through a lot of uh, comparison. Here's a strong contender. Shop vac bought from Lowe's for $199, about a third of the cost of uh, the Fez tool. And it has its merits as well, as well as its uh, problems. And then really, I've had this vacuum for years, which I built. Uh, it's actually a shop vac inside with a tool activated uh, add-on and a boom arm, which I constructed. The box on the outside actually keeps it fairly quiet. And actually this one has its merits too. For under $49, you can get a six gallon shop vac that actually does a pretty good job. So I thought I'd compare uh, back and forth and what I, part of my decision, hope it'll help make your decision as well. And maybe you'll reach some of the same conclusions, maybe not. So these are the two primary tools I use to compare it. I've got a suction gauge here, which shows uh, inches of water vacuum and a uh, decibel gauge here and I used both of them. We'll go through what I found um, for each of the top facts. Starting with the $199 shop vac that I got from Lowe's here, the first thing you'll notice is although it has similar design to the Fez tool, it just doesn't move around very easily. It kind of bites and binds. It's kind of difficult. It does have a super large hose here and it attempt to uh, create a kind of a hose caddy on the top. I like the way the um, top of it connects to the base and I really like the fact that the base is clear so you can see what's going on and how much the bag is full. Um, the top lifts off. It's got a handle here that folds down and up, although it's kind of sharp on the fingers. And then inside you can see the bag is just like any other shop vac. It actually loops around the filter which hangs below. And in this particular case I've swapped out the uh, paper filter that came with it and put a clean stream with it on it, which is a Gore product, and it uh, will make it a HEPA quality vacuum. Um, the suction's really good on it. In fact, let me put it back together. So I got the shop vac hooked up now. It's got a nice long cord. One of the things I really like about it. Although the quality of it is not great. It's kind of that uh, stiff vinyl. So it doesn't... Uh, it likes to hold its shape. So even after you take it off the cord hanger there, it kind of wants to go back to the same way it was. It's got a decent length hose. It's gigantic and heavy. Um, I imagine this thing would really suck up a lot of large debris. It's got a really nice size hose on it. Um, it's got a cool uh, wet feature here. You can unscrew it and then it pulls out and then it could drain if you needed to. I think that's pretty nice. And like I mentioned before, I see it's kind of tricky to get back started. It's got that clear base where you can see the inside. So uh, let's fire it up and see how it does against the uh, sound meter and uh, suction gauge. So here's the start of the gauge. Um, you can see my talking pushes up to about uh, 60, 70 decibels. I'm not exactly sure how accurate this thing is, but it's certainly good for comparison between vacuums. So if I shut up for a second, you'll see it drops back down to about uh, below 40 decibels. Okay, so let's fire it up. So this is shop back. As you can see, it gets up into the, almost the 90 decibels at a couple feet away. 
it's got a kind of a loud piercing sound. Um, it's not horrible, but uh, definitely, definitely loud. Okay, moving on to the suction test. I've put my suction gauge into the uh, hose and uh, we'll turn it on. I obviously can't talk while it's running, but uh, we'll see how it does. Very respectable, high 70s, almost 80. Um, in fact, it's sucking so hard the, the clear plastic uh, housing actually gets sucked in as I clog it up with the gauge. So overall, I'd say this is a pretty nice vacuum, certainly for the money, $199, plus you buy the uh, clean sweet stream filter for another 35, so under 250 bucks. Uh, it's fairly lightweight, moves around the shop. It's kind of a clone looking uh, Fez tool like vacuum, easy to empty, um, pretty loud and respectable suction, uh, 14 gallons. So I imagine it would uh, take a while to fill up. And nice thing, other nice thing is that the filters are fairly cheap. The filter bags are fairly cheap. So let's move on to the next one. So I thought I'd spend a minute and talk about the uh, standard shop vac, um, six gallon. Um, it's got a kind of a flimsy short hose. I think it's one and a quarter inch. It's got a, about a, I don't know, 12 foot uh, extension cord, which works pretty well. It's not too stiff. Similar to the other shop vac. Uh, you've probably seen this design. The nice thing about it is it's, you know, it's 50 bucks, so you can't really go wrong there. I went ahead and added a rigid uh, muffler on it. I think that was like four bucks or something. Helps quiet down a little bit without taking too much power away from it. It is loud. It doesn't have the greatest suction, but it weighs about uh, 10 pounds, and it's probably the thing I throw in the back of the truck to take to the job site if I have to clean up uh, with a vacuum. Nice thing, I can pick it up and I can carry it very easily. It doesn't have any really sharp edges, but it doesn't, doesn't do anything great, doesn't do anything bad. That's kind of the nice thing about it. Let's do a quick check of sound and uh, suction. Okay, we'll fire it up here. It's actually quieter than the Monster by about uh, seven, eight, ten decibels, which is significant. Suction wise, we'll fire it up again. Let's check the suction. Not too much different than the monster. It actually does a pretty good job. It's uh, what do you want for 50 bucks? Before I leave the sh standard shop back, I will mention that it is a bit of a pain to change the bags. Uh, the bags fit around the filter like the other shop vac, and I won't even attempt to open it because this bag's pretty full and I'll probably make a mess doing it, and that's exactly the problem with it. So uh, I'll end this video. Um, next video, I'm going to show you my homemade unit, go over that fairly quickly, and then we'll get into the Fest tool.